a relay is a device that allows one electrical circuit to control another electrical circuit. So when we look at our relay, we have six wires coming out of it and we can immediately separate these into two different groups. We have three wires that are striped and we have three wires that are solid colors. Now, in this particular relay, the striped wires are for our control device. So a control device is something that turns something else on and off. So a thermostat is a control device. It turns your heating system on and off. A light switch is a control device. It turns a lamp on and off. On the other side of the relay, we have the solid color wires and this is for your load. So for example, the load would be off your thermostat would be your heating or cooling system. The load off of a light switch would be the actual light bulb or a lamp. Now on one side of your relay, you're gonna have the three control wires. You're gonna have blue and white, yellow and white, and black and white. The yellow and white is the common. So this is a wire you're always gonna use on whatever circuit you're hooking it up to. Um, the black and white and blue and white are just different options for you to use, but you're never going to use them both. The black and white is for 120 volts. So if I had a, a light switch and I wanted to control a 120 volt, volt circuit that powers the lights in my kitchen, for example, I would use the black and white wire. If on the other hand, I had a control device like uh, this Nest thermostat here that runs off at 24 volts, I would use the blue and white because that is the low voltage wire to connect to a low voltage circuit. On the other side of the relay, I have the solid color wires and these are not by voltage. They are by what is called normally open or normally closed. Now the yellow wire, just like the other side is our common wire. So we're always gonna be using that yellow wire no matter what the application is. The orange wire here is normally open and the blue wire is normally closed. Now, what do we mean by that? Normally open, the orange wire here is, you can think of it as normally off. If you have a device like a boiler or a light that is normally in the off position and your control device, you wanna use your control device to turn it on, that is going to be used on the normally open wire. So when the relay activates, it's gonna close the circuit and allow that, that device to run. The normally closed is the opposite. This is a device that would normally be running all the time. It's always being powered. And when the relay activates, it's gonna shut this circuit off. It's gonna open the circuit. Now, the beautiful thing is that these, this circuit and this circuit never actually touch inside the relay, all right? So you can use 124 volts on one side all right, and control a 24 volt circuit on the other, or you can do the opposite. You can use a 24 volt control to control a 124 volt circuit. Now, that's what makes these things so versatile is that I can actually use a Nest thermostat with Wi-Fi, hook my 24 volt control side up to that, and then use the solid color wires to interrupt the power of a television set. So I can go into Wi-Fi, turn my thermostat off, and immediately shut off the, the television set in my kid's room. You know what, come to think of it, that's exactly what I'm gonna do for you guys here. I'm gonna use the relay so that I can use a 24 volt Wi-Fi thermostat to control TV. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to begin with wiring in my 24 volt circuit. Now I have a transformer here, I'm gonna take the red wire and I'm going to hook that directly up to the red wire that's going to power my thermostat. So I'm going straight from the transformer up to the thermostat so the thermostat gets its 24 volts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my relay and I am going to use the blue and white which is the low voltage and I'm going to hook that up to the white wire coming from my thermostat because once my thermostat calls for heat it's gonna allow the 24 volts to travel down this white wire. So I'm gonna send that 24 volts into my relay by using that blue and white wire. And now I'm gonna take my yellow and white off the relay because that's the common, and I'm gonna hook that up to the white wire going back to the common on my transformer. And that's it, now my thermostat is powered up. It's hooked up to the control side of my relay. What I have here is a black and white coming out of a junction box. This is the 120 volts that's coming off of this circuit. And I'm going to now hook that up to the orange wire. I'm gonna send 120 volts right into the other side of the relay. And when the relay activates, so I'm using the normally 
open position. So the reason why I'm using that is I want the thermostat to be on for the TV to be on. And when the thermostat shuts off, the TV will shut off. So now I got my 120 going into the load side of my relay. I'm going to take my yellow wire and I'm that 120 when it comes out of the relay is going to go to the hot or the 120 volts that goes into the plug that powers the TV. So my 120 is going to go from my power source into the relay, come out of the relay, go to the plug for the TV, and this would be my common, which is going to go back to my white wire, going back to the power source. Okay, so as you can see, the thermostat is not calling for heat. The TV is off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the thermostat on, activate the relay. I'm going to go ahead and turn my TV on as if I'm just watching it regularly. All right, it's not hooked up to the cable, but you can see the TV is on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut the thermostat off. And as you can see, the TV shuts off. So I'm using the thermostat to control a TV in my kid's room. So that's the beauty of these relays. There's, there's a lot of versatility in them. And once you understand how they work, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with them.